Hi guys, it's Catherine here. Uh, today I was going to show you a video of how to give yourself a hand massage. So this one is for all of my friends and family who do a lot of work at a desk, typing, uh, students who write a lot, and massage therapists especially, uh, lash artists, it's really good, artists in general, or people just who use their hands a lot. Um, I have a few, few friends who are dental hygienists and I know that they have some issues with some trigger points in their hands and their hands cramping up a little bit. So the only thing you're really going to need is a golf ball. That being said, golf balls can be kind of intense so if it's too intense for you just let me know and yes I am wearing Christmas pants. That's what I do. So the way that you do a self massage for your hands with a golf ball is you take the golf ball and you just kind of roll it right here in that crease. That's a really good one. A lot of people end up having some pain and tension right there in that joint. Um, so you just kind of roll it around, do little circles with it, and that will help to break up any tension within the muscles right, right through there. It's also a really good area if you have digestive issues like I do. Right through here, there's actually a trigger point you can just press that with your fingers. It's a little bit easier to do it with your fingers than with a golf ball. And that, you might notice, has kind of a lump in there. If you have digestive issues, you might be a little constipated. If you break that up, you might notice that you need to go to the bathroom in an hour or so. So give that a try if you're having some digestive issues. Or also, it's really good for if you have migraines or headaches. Right here at the junction between your thumb right here and your first finger so you're looking kind of at the metacarpal right through here so that's a good point to press when you have a headache migraine or digestive issues so back to the hand massage so just keep this hand that you're massaging just kind of loose and I'm trying to keep it straight so that way you guys can see what I'm doing um, but just massage in through there and then once you get that nice and going, you can actually do the other side. And what you can do is you can just kind of press in with both hands so you're not working one hand and keeping the other hand tight. So you're just kind of rocking it back and forth in that junction between the thumb. Oh, that's a nice spot. I usually get some cramps there from doing my lashes. And then just kind of roll it around all throughout the hand. That's a really good job to, for loosening up the hand and then you also want to do a little bit of stretching with it that will help to loosen up any tight muscles from typing and stuff like that so a good stretch that you can do is back with the fingers you might feel it into your forearm right through here that's a really good one down that direction you're going to feel that on the top side of your arm and maybe even down into the hand itself. For the people that have carpal tunnel syndrome or have had carpal tunnel surgery, be careful when you're doing this one because you might feel uh, some pulling in through here and through the carpal area. If that is the case, just take your finger and just gently or you know as much pressure as you can handle, just gently down through that tunnel area and that should help to relieve a lot of pressure. Um, so a lot of people end up getting tension in through here and through their hand and this is a lot of what I do when I do hand massages for people is just taking two fingers in through there just like that. And if you're feeling like what you're doing is not working you know give me a text, give me a call, let's set up like a 15 minute add-on massage to your next appointment. Okay? Well, thanks for watching, everybody, and I hope to see you guys next time. And I hope to be doing more of these self massage videos as well as some like self meditation and self relaxation techniques. Have a beautiful day.